Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today we're going to be taking a look at the placeable molasses factory version 1.0 file size for this is 47 megabytes now I know this looks like the bio refinery but it actually uh, works with molasses you fill this up with sugarcane and water and it makes three different products you can get molasses molasses meal and fuel from this so very very handy very profitable mod so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna discuss a few things regarding this mod we'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs then I will set it up fill it up and test it out for you guys so let's get started so once again this is the placeable molasses factory version 1.0 the file size is 47 megabytes it costs thirty thousand dollars in the shop to purchase this with a ten dollar a day maintenance fee now if you fill this right up to the top it'll hold 120,000 liters of sugarcane and 80,000 liters of water. Now it'll make 80,000 liters of each product being molasses, molasses meal and fuel so you get a really good kickback from this. There is where you're going to pick up your molasses. That's where you're going to drop off your water. Your monitor's right in the back here. Just let me get my screen up. As you can see you can put in water, sugarcane and you get fuel, molasses and molasses meal so very cool that will actually fill up with molasses that will fill up with your molasses meal that's where you drop off your sugar cane and you actually get real fuel from this not biofuel so you know if you're playing on a map that has molasses on it you're probably going to be much better off but you can work with these products and you, you could sell that fuel just about on any map so depending if you're playing on a map that has molasses already built into it you can still work with this product if not uh, the molasses here you can actually use that as feed and you can uh, mix it in if you have the straw harvest mod pack you can actually add that to your molasses tank and that'll work out just great and uh, the molasses meal will actually work as uh, mixed ration for your animals so that's power food and then your fuel is your fuel you can use that for pretty much anything from uh, fueling your equipment to selling it for a good price so let's get this filled up guys first let's go over to the shop before I forget under placeables of course all the way over to the end and there it is there the molasses factory for thirty thousand ten dollar a day maintenance fee um, if I can recommend one thing to the modder if he uh, is watching this uh, maybe the one thing you could change for sure is maybe add a sell point for this so we can sell the product elsewhere instead of having to use it for uh, other things that would be nice and maybe change this up a little bit, like change the sign here and just make it not look like the uh, bio refinery. Just kind of change it up a little bit. But besides that, there is no errors in the log and it works just great. So, okay, I got 200,000 liters of sugar cane here. Let's go put that in. It'll hold 120,000 liters of that. that on in there so you can see glitching out there a little bit it's just where I have it because I have it on the field it's kind of see when I get close it has a foundation but when I pull away it kind of disappears so that is not the mod that is just where I have it so 80,000 left I put in 120,000 liters so yeah the straw harvest add-on that's uh, one of the uh, that actually makes the pellets from uh, straw you put water and molasses in there so we're gonna test that out see if we can fill it from there okay next up we need some water 80,000 liters worth please get 24 uh, 240,000 liters here I got the big modified tank so these in-game trucks can barely handle it but we'll get it over there Okay, back this guy up. So he's gonna go in, the water's gonna go in that little gray silo there. Okay, this will fill up fairly quick. Okay, let's go look at the monitor here. We'll keep a close eye on the time there too, because it looks like this thing probably booted up already. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's filled. We have 1446 on the clock. Now, the water is going to be the first thing that runs out. I don't know. They should be, like, a lot more equal, those numbers. But, uh, yeah, your water will run out first. But you'll end up with 80,000 liters of each product. So, let us fast forward time here. This is all up and running. Yes, it is. Okay, <laughs> look at the molasses there, guys. Yummy. Okay, let's pull this guy out of the way. So, it'll take 12 hours, I think, for this to stop before it runs out of water. That's basically half full. So there's one day. I'm going to stop just before that to make sure. Once that hits 1400 hours, that'll be uh, two full days. But I want to keep my eye on this. Look, that's going to go down even further than that. That actually took less time. Okay, so that is all filled up. I'm going to take this guy and go over and get molasses. Start filling this up. There's your molasses meal in there. Okay, so you can see the symbol down in the bottom right hand corner, that's cool. Okay, we'll let him fill up while we fill up the rest. Okay, let's shed a little light on the situation. It's awful gloomy looking out. Okay. Uh, what do we need next? We need a tipper. I do believe this guy's empty. Okay, give me what you got. So he's filling up. Are you all filled? Yeah, I think you are. 33%. So we got 80,000, just over 80,000 liters of uh, molasses there, guys. So we'll just keep him there for now. And while he's filling up with molasses meal, we'll go over and get our fuel tanker here and fill up with fuel. So yeah, unfortunately I won't be able to sell any of this product. This is uh, one of the vanilla maps. This is actually the Goldcrest map. So there's not even a place to sell the fuel on this map. But you guys generally know what fuel goes for. And seeing that you get three products from this, I think that's a really sweet deal. There we go. So you can see that's filling up just fine, full of fuel. It's going to be at least uh, 80,000 liters worth. Okay, you all done? He is done. There's still more in there. 59,000. This is only a smaller tipper. But, uh, like I said, this is uh, power food. Let's take a close-up look at that. Hmm. And here's what it looks like over on this screen. There is your molasses in your molasses meal. Now, the fuel's not showing up here. Because you can't sell fuel on this uh, vanilla map. But if you were on a modern map, most likely you have fuel sales. So you're going to make quite a bit of money. Just this power food alone is worth the price. A little bit of sugar cane and water. Yeah. So yeah, just uh, maybe in the next version that you make, when you make this, maybe you can make uh, a sales trigger just to make life a lot easier for those not playing on a map that has molasses. But you can see that's going in just fine. I'm going to bring you over to the animal statistics screen and show you that that's going in. Look, molasses meal, it's going in as power food. So very, very cool. And there you go. Look, that's still going in. Very nice. How full is that? 65,000? No, 59,000. So there you go. You have power food there. I'll load it up. Just going to leave you there for now. There is your fuel, guys. Just a little over 80,000 liters. Look 
could have sworn it last time it was 80,000 right on the nose, but quite a bit of fuel. We're going to snag on to this guy. Just to show you, we're going to go over to the water tower because you've got to put water and uh, molasses in here. So, let's fill this guy up with water first. Hopefully, it'll go in. Yep, you can see it. It's refilling now. There, it's full. You can tell up top it shows you in the tool bar there. And we're going to get some uh, molasses to put in here. So there, it's filling up. And it's full. So like I said, if you, even if you don't have the straw harvest add-on, you have to pay for that. That is a uh, DLC. Third party. But, uh... It says you can mix it in with the straw and use it as feed too, so you can, you know, m basically make more molasses meal. Okay, so let's drop this down. Start it on up. And we're making pellets. Let's see if we can come up with a little ramp there. Okay, so you can see that all works just fine. There you have it guys, very very nice placeable. That was the placeable molasses factory version 1.0. The file size for that is 47 megabytes. Additional information and link can be found down below in the description guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring in new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it really helps out. So until next time, take care and I will see you guys all in the next one.